Good evening. 18 schools in Indiana are on academic probation. Two of them are right here in Fort Wayne. This summer, the State Department of Education will decide what's going to happen to Northside and Southside high schools. News Channel 15's Don Austin joins us from Studio 15 with details. Well, Mark and Heather, the schools have been on academic probation for the past five years. An Indiana law passed back in 1999 says the state has to step in with some kind of intervention after a school has been on probation for six years in a row. Several things could happen, including a state takeover of the failing schools. Yes, we do think that when we get these scores back that there will be an improvement. Um, <clears throat> will they be enough to make everyone happy? You know, it depends on what your expectation is, but again, we think that there will be a definite improvement. Test scores for the troubled schools will be released in the next few weeks. State education officials need to see enough improvement happening to pull those failing schools out of academic probation. FWCS spokeswoman Krista Stockman said feedback about Northside and Southside high schools has been positive. They are, they've been up here a few times visiting. Um, they were here uh, just a few months ago and did tours of the schools again and uh, have been pretty positive in their comments since then. There could be major consequences for a school that moves into its sixth year on academic probation. The State Board of Education could merge the failing school with a better performing one. Or the most dramatic option, the school could get turned over to a private company with a special management team. The state says that has never happened before. The State Board of Education will hold public hearings later this month to talk about improvements and to discuss what happens in case these schools are still failing. Uh, June 21st, those public hearings will be held. Uh, people from the community can come out and talk about the things that we've done at those two schools. Stockman said it's important to recognize all of the hard work teachers have done trying to pull these two high schools out of academic probation. They've put in a lot of extra hours. They've really been dedicated to the students, and we're very proud of the work that they've done, and we expect to see that, uh, that outcome when the test scores are, re are returned. And we'll learn the final outcomes later this summer. The state will hold public hearings at Northside and Southside on June 21st. People will be able to give their input about what should happen if the schools move into their sixth year of probation. In Studio 15, I'm Don Austin, News Channel 15.